Imagine you're the CTO of a rapidly growing startup. Your company has offices in Tokyo, London, and San Francisco. Your employees work from coffee shops, co-working spaces, and their kitchen tables. Your data lives in the cloud, your applications are scattered across the internet, and cyber criminals are constantly trying to break into your digital kingdom. How do you protect everything while keeping your team productive and your customers happy? Welcome to the world of Sassy, where three tech titans are fighting to solve this exact problem. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit the bell, hit the like, and subscribe. Let's start with a simple question that will shape our entire discussion today. What happens when your office becomes everywhere and nowhere at the same time? This isn't science fiction. This is your future workplace reality. Traditional network security was like having a medieval castle with thick walls, a moat, and guards at the gate. Everyone inside was trusted. Everyone outside was suspicious. But what happens when your employees need to work from a beach in Bali your applications live in Amazon's cloud and your customers access your services from every corner of the globe, suddenly that castle model looks about as useful as a chocolate teapot. This massive shift in how we work has created what I like to call the great security scramble. Companies realized they needed something entirely new, a way to provide security that follows users and applications wherever they go. Enter SASE Secure Access Service Edge. Think of it as your digital bodyguard that never sleeps, never takes a coffee break, and somehow manages to be in multiple countries simultaneously. Imagine you're moving to a new apartment and instead of hiring separate companies for internet, cable, security, and utilities, one company shows up and says, we'll handle absolutely everything and you'll only need to call one number when something goes wrong. That's the same, essentially Cato Networks philosophy. Cato Networks built what they call a converged sassy solution. Fancy words that mean we put everything in one place so you don't have to become a tech wizard to manage it. They operate 73 points of presence across 150 countries, creating their own private internet highway for your data. Users consistently describe their experience with Cato as exceptionally simple which in the tech world is like, like finding a unicorn that actually grants wishes. Real user quote alert. One administrator said implementation was speedy, the implementation team was very knowledgeable, and the customer support team is swift to respond to tickets. In tech support terms, this is equivalent to finding customer service that actually picks up the phone on the first ring and solves your problem immediately. But here's the interesting twist. Some users noted limitations in advanced routing features. It's like having a fantastic all-in-one kitchen appliance that makes perfect smoothies but struggles with souffles. For most people, it's perfect. For Gordon Ramsay, maybe not so much. Now let's talk about Cloudflare, the company that's essentially built a parallel internet they operate in over 270 cities worldwide with more than 2,500 connection points to other networks. To put this in perspective, if the internet were a highway system, Cloudflare wouldn't just have a few toll booths, they'd practically own all the major intersections. Mind-blowing stat, Cloudflare processes over 3 trillion requests daily. That's like processing every grain of sand on a large beach every single day. This massive scale gives them superpowers in understanding internet traffic patterns and optimizing performance. Their approach is fascinating because they didn't start by saying, let's build security tools. They said, let's, let's build the fastest, most reliable internet infrastructure on the planet, then add security on top. It's like if Ferrari decided to become a security company, you're getting incredible performance with your protection. The challenge, some users report that Cloudflare's aggressive filtering can occasionally cause hiccups. It's like having an overly enthusiastic security guard who sometimes stops the pizza delivery guy because they think the pepperoni looks suspicious. Scalar takes a completely different approach 
uh, that's both brilliant and slightly paranoid. Their philosophy is simple. Trust no one, verify everything. They operate on zero trust principles, which means even if you're the CEO with a golden badge, you still need to prove who you are every single time you want to access anything. Think of Zscaler like a high security nightclub where the bouncer checks your ID, scans it, calls your references, and then only lets you into the specific VIP section you're authorized for, not Siri, uh, you know, not the entire club. Their zero trust exchange operates across 160 plus points of presence globally, deploying over 250,000 unique security updates daily. Here's what makes them special. Instead of giving users broad network access, like a traditional VPN that's essentially handing someone the keys to the entire building, Zscaler provides application-specific access. You wanna use Salesforce? Here's access to Salesforce. You wanna browse, wanna browse the internet? Here's controlled internet access. You wanna explore the accounting system you're not supposed to see? Nice try, but no. The reality check. Users consistently report that Scalar's initial setup is complex and requires significant expertise. It's like learning to drive a Formula One car. Incredibly powerful once you master it, but you might crash into a few walls during the learning process. Round one, management and user experience. Cato Networks wins the easiest to use award hands down. Users consistently praise its unified management interface. Imagine having one remote control that operates your TV, sound system, lights, air conditioning, and coffee maker. And it actually works intuitively. Cloudflare provides a comprehensive dashboard, but it's like being handed the control panel of a spaceship. Incredibly powerful, but you'll need some time to figure out which button does what. Zikaler requires separate management interfaces for different services, creating what experts call the swivel chair problem. Administrators constantly switching between different screens like air traffic controllers, managing multiple airports simultaneously. Interactive challenge. Imagine you're explaining to your grandmother how to use these systems. Which one could she master in an afternoon and which one would require a computer science degree? Round two, security capabilities. All three platforms offer comprehensive security, but with different philosophies. Cato Networks will protect everything with consistent policies across your entire organization. Cloudflare. We'll leverage our massive internet presence to stop threats before they reach you. Zscaler. We'll assume everything is compromised and verify every single action. It's like comparing three different approaches to home security. A comprehensive alarm system, Cato, a neighborhood watch program with superpowers, Cloudflare, and a personal bodyguard who never sleeps, Scholar. Round three, performance and speed. Cloudflare dominates in internet performance thanks to their massive global network. It's like having a personal highway built just for your data. Cato Networks provides predictable performance through their private backbone. Think of it as a, as a reliable train system that always runs on time. The scaler focuses on minimizing the impact of security inspection on speed, though some users report occasional slowdowns during high traffic periods. Here's where things get interesting. And by interesting, I mean expensive. Cato Networks is generally perceived as providing good value despite premium pricing. Users report significant cost savings compared to managing multiple separate security solutions. One user noted they got the functionality of SD-WAN, a global backbone and security service for our sites and mobile users integrated and at a fraction of the cost. Cloudflare is considered competitively priced with transparent pricing models. And you can start small and scale up, which appeals to startups and growing companies. Scalar is frequently cited as expensive, especially for smaller organizations. However, companies with strong security requirements often find the investment justified by improved security posture and reduced breach risk. Real world analogy, 
Think of it like car insurance. You can get basic coverage, comprehensive coverage, or we'll replace your car with a better one if someone looks at it wrong. So which platform wins? The answer is beautifully complicated. It depends entirely on what you need. Choose Cato Networks if you want simplicity, unified management, and don't want to become a networking expert. It's perfect for organizations that want comprehensive, sassy capabilities without the complexity. Choose Cloudflare if you need extensive internet optimization, have complex performance requirements, and can benefit from their broader service portfolio. Great for companies with significant internet-facing needs. Choose the Scaler if you have stringent security requirements, are willing to invest in complexity, and want the most mature, zero-trust implementation available. Your key takeaways, what you should remember after your next coffee break. One, the old way is dead. Traditional network security models are as outdated as dial-up internet too. One size doesn't fit all. Each platform represents a different philosophy and serves different organizational needs. Three, simplicity versus power. There's often a trade-off between ease of use and advanced capabilities. Four, total cost matters. Look beyond licensing costs to include implementation complexity and ongoing management. Five, the future is now. Sassy isn't coming, it's here. And organizations are actively choosing between these approaches today. The evolution of network security mirrors the evolution of work itself, from centralized offices to distributed teams, from trusted networks to zero trust verification, from simple solutions to sophisticated platforms that can protect global organizations in real time. The companies that master this transition will thrive in our increasingly connected world, while those that cling to outdated models will find themselves as relevant as a fax machine in a smartphone world. Remember, in cybersecurity, as in life, the best defense is often a good offense, and choosing the right platform is your first strategic move in protecting your digital future.